In today's video, come along to several yard sales with me, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you what I brought home. Here we go. Checkers, that's a fun game. What's that? Chinese, <clears throat> wow, Chinese checkers. Yeah. Good morning. Hello. Hi. How much for your Christmas picks? Like right here. Just five, but there's a whole lot in there. Oh, you can't just buy like because I just want some of the Christmas picks, maybe, oh. for making a wreath. Well, I had three on the hole for everything in here. Okay. And that's for the top of a tree. Okay. The dove. Um, All right, anyway. I'll take a look. I'll peek at it. Oh. Those are um, napkin holders. Oh, cute. Aren't they absolutely Oh, those are adorable. Snowman. Oh my gosh, those are cute too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a whole box of napkin holders? All napkin holders. Oh my They're gosh. Yeah. So I'm sorry, what's the price? It says I'm two sorry. for a dollar on the Oh two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. Okay, Is that right? There you go. Okay. Even better. Okay. Thank you. This is amazing. I don't know if it works, but it's an old accordion. I have no use for it. I'm not purchasing it, but oh my gosh, it's so cool. Beeswax candles, those are really popular. Back rollers. Oh, that's I always just like to ask. I know. Yeah. I I'm getting those two. These guys. These are cute. Oh, football. What 
are these? Oh my <laughs> gosh. We had three dogs and a cat. They all had their uh, stuff. Were they Scotties or that was just no, what you meant? No, oh. just what came on it, yeah. Oh my gosh, I might have and to And you know, the, the, the pets have to have their own. I know, just love this. I mean, ours have stockings already, but these would be really cute, like on our tree or something for them. I'm going to get two of those. How cute. What were your puppy's names? Uh, Baron, we called him Boo Boo because he was always hitting, running into things. <laughs> that was a German short hair. And then we had Duke, he was a chocolate lab. And then my dog was a little cute. Yorkie. And then we had a, just a basic American cat. Okay, us. so cute. Did someone make this or? I don't know where my husband picked him up. Okay, this is so cute. Looks like a needle point. Get on another ice cream scoop breakfast. Yeah, we got so many. We have a dog. Just the swap these are kind of got all their stuff and they kind of wish they could try to get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Craigslist and Marketplace is really, you know, uh, sometimes you can get rid of it. Yeah, put all stuff like that. You got get yeah. yeah, some of the people they look they're going to sell. It's worth a hundred dollars or something. Martha Stewart, that's it. Don't insult it. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I, I've been collecting them for years. But I had them with a bunch of fire arms, but down to about 40. Now. They're cute. Yeah. They're cute. Those are cute. Oh, these are so cute. Those are not more than a quarter of Okay. And how about the candy corn? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Oh. These are adorable. I need a little tray or something. I feel like this reminds me of my childhood. God, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just a different pattern. pattern. The ladies might like this. Is that for sugar? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just I love the spoon in there. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it holds it. It goes together. Yeah. It does oh my go gosh. Together. That's so cute. Yep. There's another one, I think. There's two, it's a set. I kind of like that, but it's broken. Okay. Can you put it back in? All 
right, so we're still looking for more sales. That one that I just went to was really good. I spent $13.75 on two boxes of like random things, but it's all like vintage items. Someone like was just cleaning out their, I don't know if it was their parent or their brother. I forget what she said, it's vintage stuff. And a lot of it I got to resell at my live sale and some of it is going to be in my Halloween haul that I'm putting together for the collaboration, the open, challenge invite whatever you want to call it um from nesting haven and the collect the collection vintage so a lot of the things that i'm keeping will actually show up in that haul so anyway it was a good sale i was quite pleased with the vintage figurines i think i think those are going to go over really well at my live sale oh and chris just spotted another sale what's that oh that's cute Have a Christmas napkin holder? Uh, I don't know, maybe. It's entirely possible. I can't remember if I do or not. It's a lid for something. It's not a dish, it's a lid. Hmm. It like protects your mustache. That is funny.
that was a great, great stop. We have hit really good stops today for vintage treasures. And at that one, I got a bunch of stuff and they all had the initials PS on it because I guess it was several families selling stuff and all of my stuff. I was like, I don't know who PS is, but I like your stuff. And this little man held up his hand. I was like, you've got good stuff. And so then he started talking to me. His name is Patrick. And one of my favorite things that I got was this set of four shakers, totally farmhouse and vintage, vintage farmhouse. And it's in like this little, um, like holder that's meant to hang on the wall. It's a little broken. And I had noticed that it was a little broken when we bought it, but I was like, yeah, that's okay. Well, he made the holder for it in seventh grade, which he said was like 50 something years, 55 years ago or something. So now I love it even more. <sighs> that was a really good stop. I spent five and change, five, almost six dollars, I think. So anyway, I think now we're headed home. I will probably post this haul later today. It's Saturday and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, you all, I hope that was fun coming along with us. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Minnesota. It's in the 70s. So we went this morning. I'm filming this on Saturday afternoon. Hopefully you'll get to see it tonight. I'm going to start with the things that I got for me to keep and then I'll show you the things that I'm going to sell, most of which will show up in my live sale, which is this coming Thursday evening at 6.30 Central Time here on my Nicole North Garden YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and start with what I'm going to keep. <clears throat> okay, first of all, I got these gorgeous, they are reproductions, but they're made to look like depression glass and they are bottle, they're like vases. They were a dollar a piece and they have flower frogs on the tops of them. So I love these things. They're gonna go in with my uranium glass collection. If they had actually been made in the 20s, they would have uranium salts in them and probably glow. Um, but I just love them because I love this color glass. I think those are gonna be beautiful. I can put, you know, either faux flowers in them. That's probably what I'm going to do is faux flowers to start with since we're coming into fall and winter. So I got those for my home decor. Then I also, I got these for my fall decor. I think I'm going to put these out here on the porch. And she said that she did not make them, but she knows who did. I think they'll hold up well on the porch. I've put raffia outside before, and these are just leaves. They look like they're from the Dollar Tree. I might add something right here because it looks like maybe something fell off. I don't know, but I don't need to do much to them. I think they're going to be really cute sitting probably like on a table or something here on the porch. And these were a quarter, I think, for the set. Actually, at this one sale, she char just charged me like $13 for this whole box. And I mean, it was a big box. So that was one of the things. But most of the things from that woman, she said nothing was over 50 cents. So this was 50 cents. Or no, this was 25 cents. I love this thing. It's a vintage cuckoo clock. I don't even know if it like actually works. It doesn't matter. I just got it because I thought it was really cute. And I think this will be cute on a, a tray for fall as well. I could just set it. Probably not going to hang it anywhere, but... It's made in Germany, I think, West Germany. Here's the mark. So I just thought that was really cute. Okay, and then also for my home decor, oh my gosh, I got this mirror. This was, I think, 10 cents. And I absolutely love this thing, I, but I especially love the back of this. And I'm going to set it on my dresser in my bedroom with my vintage, I have like a little silver tray with some vintage compacts and little jewelry boxes that I've been collecting. And so this is gonna set with those. So I just thought it was so, so pretty. Okay, and then also for my home decor, well actually, this is for home decor. I, it's, it's made by West Clock. This is also 10 cents. I don't know if it works, it's a wind up. And I got it just because I thought it was really pretty. And it's like painted. So cute. Again, this will be nice on a tray. And then also um, for my collection, you know, I collect Holly Hobby items. There are a lot of Holly Hobby items in the world. And so now I'm kind of from this point forward only collecting things of Holly Hobby with the blue bonnet. That's the most classic illustration. So I'm just, I'm kind of, in order to keep my uh, collection in check, I'm just gonna start collecting things with the blue bonnet. And so this is Holly Hobby Lasting Memories Fine Porcelain. This is from, hmm, it's 1982, LXXX. Oh, maybe that's three. I, 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 it's 1983, sorry, sorry. 
So I thought that was really cute. I think I paid a quarter for that. And also for my home decor, I got this set. Oh my gosh. I love this set so much. So this is the set by the man. Um, his name was Patrick and he made this hanger for it in, in a metal shop in seventh grade in the fifties. So I think that's so cool. And I love these shakers. You know, I do a lot of like white with black in my kitchen and jadeite green. So these like, I mean, it's like a cream color, but then they're got the black and the green. I think these will look really pretty in my kitchen somewhere. They don't have stoppers. Um, so I'm going to see if I can come up with something because I definitely would use the salt and the pepper and the sugar. I'm not sure I would use the flour for flour, but none of them has stoppers. So I'm going to see what I can find online to replace the ones that are missing. I just think these are really cute and will go really cute somewhere in my farmhouse styled kitchen. And then for my Christmas decor, I got these two stockings. And they have that like hand knitted look to them. They're not hand knitted, but they look hand knitted. And I got one for each of our puppies. They were 50 cents a piece. So that is for our Christmas home decor. And then everything, oh, that's not true. And then I also got for my home, for my home decor, this, these are great in farmhouse decor and farmhouse vintage decor. I'm, and they're super useful. So anytime I see them, I pick them up. And if you buy them and you don't know if you want to use it, just buy them anyway, because if you don't use it, you can always sell it on eBay. They sell for really good money on eBay as well. So there's no mark on this one. It does have really interesting looking um, like screws or rivets or whatever you want to call those. Do you see that? It's really pretty. It's not like a normal screw. It's really cool. You know, on vintage items, you just find cool things like that. They don't do that anymore. Everything's mass, mass produced. So. Okay, now everything else that I got, and it was a lot, is for selling. So I hit the jackpot on vintage items to resell. So I got this little hippo planter. This has to be from the 70s. I feel like I had this as a kid. There's no mark, but I just thought this was really cute. And again, I'm going to put most of these in my live sale. There's so many things that if you see something that you really want, I could try to figure out a price for it and do it before the live sale, but otherwise all these things will turn up on Thursday in my live sale. So, okay. And then I got these salt and pepper shakers, but they were really cute. And I don't know what's going on on the bottom there, but they might, it's like the, the innards are missing. Like the part that it's kind of strange. It's like the bottoms are gone. I don't know. But I probably wouldn't use them for, I would just use them, you know, as a collector. Here's where the plug is. And then the holes are up here. Maybe, I don't really know. I don't understand. I could try putting salt and pepper in there and see what happens. Like, does it just come through? I'm not really sure. But I thought they were cute. Someone might want them for their collection. And then also I got, oh, sorry, this is not to sell. I thought this would be cute. I'm going to do something with him in a craft. He's really broken up, but I thought he was cute with his bunnies. And I don't know. It's got this, I don't really know anything about it other than the fact that it was really old and was probably just going to get thrown out. So, you know, I always like to try to save things. Anyway, okay. So back to the things I'm selling. I found this little mouse. He's really cute. That would be cute for someone's fall decor. And then I also got this set of poodles. This was really fun. So they are redware. They say Japan. So here's the mama poodle. And then she has two baby poodles that are on a chain. <laughs> and I think she's supposed to have a car. This, it goes around her neck or something. I saw one on eBay. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to set it up, but they, these are supposed to be her pups and they all kind of hang together. I thought that was really cute. And then I got a set of cats, but one of them, the tail is broken. So I don't know if someone wants him, I would sell them together. Otherwise I might keep him and do something with him in a craft. And I don't know. I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. Again, these are pro. Oh yeah. They're marked Japan. They're stamped. There's the stamp here and the stamp here. These are probably from the fifties would be my guess. And I got this for crafting. It's just a little, it's marked Hong Kong. It's a little blue bunny with carrots. So, okay. And then I got this to put in my live sale. This is very cool. If you like old advertising, 
It is an old shoe polish kit, Johnson Shoe Shine Kit. And if you open it up, it has its rag still, and then it has the little sponge. I mean, you don't want to use it, obviously, and the paste is all dried up. But I just thought that was cute. And, um, you know, if someone collects, like, vintage things, they might like that. And then I got this for crafting. It's just a little piece of vintage greenery. And it came with all of these old-looking bows, which I will also keep. Oopsie. All of these and then it also she had them all together so I really didn't want these so I don't even know what to do with them I might just you know put them at a bargain price in the live sale just to get rid of them I have these set of four whoops there, there's four red ones five red ones just kidding five red ones and then some of these little packages I don't know if I would use those in crafting I'm not sure but then there's all these silver ones which she also included I was really just after this and something else I'll show you. She had her stuff like, she was selling it by the box, which was a little frustrating because I didn't necessarily want all this. I could always just donate it. I mean, someone could make a really pretty wreath out of this. I don't know. I haven't figured out what I'll do with the stuff I don't want, but it was all of this. So all of this with the presents and this and the bows. And then this thing I'll show you right now for $3. So. Anyway, this was the another thing I was after. It's a snow dove tree topper. I haven't tried it to see if it works. It's super old, but very cool. So probably gonna put that in my live sale. And then I'm going to put with it these three little vintage bird picks. So just cause I have so many at this point, you know, time to uh, sell off some of my vintage. So this one's kind of messed up, but I thought, ah, maybe someone wants that for like a vintage display the, the box is really cool show it to you let's see i can get it closed here we go so there's the box you know i love vintage graphics so that is what i was after i paid three dollars for the box and got the other things with it so and then this was two dollars i'm gonna sell this in the live sale i thought this was really cute and um, it looks like a needlepoint stocking, basically. But I thought that was really cute. It's in really good shape and it doesn't smell. So that's always key. I did get some, a few items for my Halloween haul. I'm not gonna show that to you. And then let's see. Okay, that covers this box. I got these. I'm gonna sort through them and see if there's any that I wanna keep and then maybe sell the rest. It's this man. So this man had this at that same sale where, um, Patrick was that made the little rack for the flour sugar creamer thing um not flour flour sugar salt pepper thing he had this tin of buttons he said it was his grandma's so I'm gonna sort through all the I love vintage buttons and I'll see like if there's stuff I want to keep and then maybe some to sell off I don't even know I would I don't I don't know I just thought it was so cool to have like a whole tin of his grandma's buttons was just kind of neat to me um, I will probably keep the tin in my craft room. Once I get my craft room back, it's the right colors for in there. So. so that I will sort through. Okay, then I also got this to sell. It's one of the uh, food shoppers. This one is by, let's see, it's Federal Housewares, Chicago, Illinois. And it's the vintage food shopper. So I have, I have a blue one. I think I have a pink one. This one's pink. So I thought, meh. People seem to like those. Okay, and then I got some vintage Pyrex and I haven't like tried to clean it up or anything yet. It has some marks around the bottom. He did say his mom used to use this to make goulash, but I mean, it's fairly clean and the graphic is in really good shape and the inside's in really good shape. So I will try to clean these up, but I thought, I know people like Pyrex a lot. I, it's not something that I collect really, but if I find it cheap, and I think I paid $3 for one of these and four for the bigger one. And the two lids are here, although this lid has a chip. That lid has a little chip. And this lid, it's strange. It's like it got chipped and then they sanded it down. It's completely smooth. Like it's not sharp at all. I don't know if it was a manufacturing flaw or what, but it doesn't, it's not sharp at all. So it does have that corner that's missing, but I don't know. I just thought it was cool. And maybe someone wants the vintage Pyrex. I'll probably sell them as a set for not very much. 
And then I got this tray. This I thought was really cute. It's got the geese and the bunnies and little chipmunks and little um, chickadees. I thought that was cute. It's made in Hong Kong, so it's got some age to it. So I'll probably put that in my live sale. And then I got a whole bunch of, um, well, I don't know what I wanna show you next. These she gave me for free. I'm probably just gonna donate them. I don't really want them. Um, bought from the same place. I got these two chalkware items, which were really cool. They're in really good shape. They do have, the, you know, some chipping, but that's to be expected with chalkware, plasterware, which apparently are the same thing. But I thought those would be really cute in someone's decor. Maybe even for fall, because they're yellow. I don't know. I don't know. Again, she I think she charged me like 50 cents a piece for those. And then I got these two adorable ceramic rooster figurines. They're not salt shakers. They're just figurines. So if someone collects roosters, those are really cute. So those will be on my live sale. And I thought he was so cute. Look at that little lamb. Adorable. And I think he is, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's stamped Japan. It's blurry, but he's also made in Japan. So he's got age to him. Okay, and I got a bunch of uh, perfume bottles. They're really pretty. I don't know anything about perfume bottles. And I think some of these are like Avon. and So they're probably not valuable. But if someone likes to like display things like this, I thought they were really pretty. So I'm probably just going to sell them as a lot in my sale. Those three. And this little baby one. That's so cute. That was probably a sampler. It says, Lou, la, la, vu. <laughs> And then here's like two, these two, are they the same? They're the same bottle. Oh no, so then maybe they were like a set. Essence RSVP by Richard Had Hudnut and Essence Jelly by Richard Hudnut. So, well, those were cute. And this one is really cool. Prince Machabelli. Perfect. Abano perfume bath oil. And this one is really cool. I thought they were really neat. And then there were some bigger ones. Ninja Park Perfume, Chantilly. And then this is really cool. This is like, it says Christmas 76. I would guess this is Avon. Um Oh, Cure Cologne, Avon. Yeah. And, oh yeah, it says it in there. And so from 1976 and it sits in there. Isn't that cute? So if that doesn't sell, I'll probably keep it because that's the year of my birth. So, all right. And then also some vintage packaging. I got this um, kitchen clatter, artificial almond flavor, kitchen clatter product, Shenandoah, Iowa. So that was kind of cute for like a vintage baking vignette would be cute at Christmas time and then I got this I have sold one actually I sold one and I kept one of these for myself it's not vintage but it's it looks vintage you know and it's really cute with like eggs or Easter grass or like some kind of little display at Easter time so I'll probably put that up for sale for cheap because the last time I had one a lot of people wanted it so and then I got this I'm gonna sell this with that same bunny Avon candle that I got I think they're from around the same uh time period and the colors kind of match so I thought that would be cute it does have two little nicks but I'll probably sell the two of them for as a set you know for not very much 1982 this one is from so I just thought that was really cute I think most of these things were a quarter and then this is probably Avon. I'm guessing maybe the person like sold Avon or something. I don't know, but there's not, I didn't see a mark, but it's a set of, it's this little box and then it comes with a set of earrings. So I thought that was really cute. I don't think they were ever worn, but there's no, I don't know. I would guess that this is Avon, but I really don't know. But I just thought it was cute. Maybe someone wants it at the live sale. Keeps it from going to the landfill, right? Oh, and then I do have two other things for my own self so this is so cool this says um rob rosers 
silver medals. And I guess, is this like for candy? I'm gonna set it on my counter with like M&Ms in it or like candy corn or something and you can like scoop them into your hand. Maybe it's for sugar. I don't really know, but I love how the little spoon just kind of hangs there. I think that's really cute. So, and this was at that same sale where everything was like basically a quarter. And then also for my own collection, I got this cutie little, this is Avon and it's a reproduction it's from 1977. I love the colors, the aqua and the pink I thought were really cute. And those will be cute in my house. All right, that's all that I have for you. It was a big haul, lots of treasures. You'll see a lot of these turn up in my live sale. Don't forget to tune in Thursday night at 6.30 Central Time. My friend Amy and I will be selling items. It's sure to be a good time. And lots of um, inexpensively priced items. I like to just move things, move things, move things. So that'll be fun. And until my next video, thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye-bye.